Okay, here is my running cat. Um, that's the system at the back. It's two bits of straw with the stick threaded through it and anchored to the head. Um, and there's, as you can see, two folded bits, one at the hips and one at the shoulders to create the movement. I'm going to try and make a dog for you now, which might work a little bit better because his tail is a bit thicker. Um, so there's three lines across the shoulders and three lines across the hips. I'm going to score these. with a pair of open scissors, just so that they'll fold. It's not so it cuts it at all, it just makes it easier to fold. So I'm gonna fold that one back, this one forward, and that one back like that. And again, fold, fold, and fold. So now it's all folded up like that. He needs two cuts, one here, Just between the two fold lines, nothing more, and one at the hips. Right, now I can reverse one of the folds. So, see it's open now, and then it's reversed. So there's one half of the fold is going to the back, and one half is going to the front, and that will help with the movement. And the same on the hips. Push it back, so that one half is forward and one half is back. And I'm going to turn him over. I'm going to take the stick and then stick the stick to the back of the head with a piece of cellar tape. So it's well anchored on and it's not going to come off. And then I'm going to thread two pieces of straw onto that stick. They don't have to be very long, it's just two bits of straw to allow the movement. One gets stuck onto the back of the body, just there, and the other one gets stuck onto the tail. So the tail's there. Another piece of cellar tape. Here we go. There we go. Fold back round. And then hopefully we have a running dog. And that's today's lesson. I'll be posting the templates up. But you can see quite clearly how it's made. Okay. Running dog and a running cat. Thank you.